The DSC Wireless Grip Gauge is a tool designed to be integrated with the AssemblyWorks or GaugeWorks software packages. The tool records measurements and broadcasts them wirelessly via a Zigbee connection to a receiver which is attached to a computer. The gauge simply needs to have the trigger swept across its full range to be calibrated. Measurements are performed by inserting the probe tip into an opening in the surface, orienting the gauge so all three tips are in contact with the part, positioning the gauge so the hooked tip will catch the inner surface of the part, and squeezing the trigger. This action sends the measurement to the computer. The DSC wireless grip gauge has over 24 hours of battery life. The two batteries of the gauge are removable. Each gauge ships with a standalone battery charger and four batteries total, so a second set of batteries can always be charging. In addition, installed batteries can be directly charged via the mini USB port, even while still in operation. While the DSC wireless grip gauge recalibrates itself when it is swept across its range, if the probe tip needs to be changed or if the probe tip becomes loose, a full recalibration is necessary. This process is simple. Place the gauge in its calibration mode and perform a measurement on the provided calibration puck. Calibration is complete. Within the menu of the wireless grip gauge, the units displayed on the LCD screen can be changed. The user can select from inches, millimeters, and grips. The grips value by default has a denominator of 16, which means each grip represents 1 16th of an inch. The gauge also provides an interface for changing the denominator of grips to any integer value. Additional menu options give the user further control over the DSC wireless grip gauge. The LCD backlight may be set to auto, on, or off. The wireless radio may be turned on or off. The device may be forced into standby mode, and the connection status screen can be viewed. This screen displays whether the gauge is connected to a receiver, the pan ID of the receiver if it is connected, the battery voltage, and the firmware version of the gauge.